Alrighty, I found something exciting here. This is Wester Place and it is an easy bloomer. And you like, I can't really see it good there. Don't worry, I got another one here. It is this beautiful um, velvet burgundy. I'm gonna, I can, this looks better with my eye. So I'm gonna put it in the shade and see. Yeah, see the lines on her? See the burgundy color? That is Wester Place. It is a huge blossom. It is one, two, three, four, five inches across. And I found another one in bloom here. This is Arabella. Also, I'm noticing these clematis are doing okay in um, Home Depot's care. This is Arabella's flower. I'm put it over here so you can see it. I am particularly attracted to this color. And they say it will bloom for um, from June to September, so you get a long blooming time. But this flower is three inches across, and it doesn't, it's not very beautiful. I like the color, but um, I feel like I could get some native flowers that would be easier for me. And, you know, I don't have to water, no summer water. Why should I struggle it doesn't look like this that is not what that's looking like it's got one flower dangling out of it whereas this one here oh no not that one the westchester i can see it already has a couple of huge blooms on it much better presentation um the peonies are loving this weather we're having it's been a cool year it's been freezing in the 30s and 40s and the peonies are loving it at Home Depot. Home Depot's not good at managing plants. So for them to be able to keep these plants for this long, and it's growing and filling out. So it's loving the rain. The lilacs are suffering. See, the lilacs are breaking off and all of that. Now I saw um, peonies with flowers on them when they first brought them in and people snatch those up. This is a peony. This says lilac, but I'm, what I'm showing you is Dr. Alex Lemon. This peony right here. And this one is Dr. Alex Lemon too. The other one that's doing pretty good, actually in Zone 10B, um, people tell me they've been able to get repeat blooms off of Sarah Bernhardt. That's Sarah Bernhardt back there. Doesn't look like these are gonna do it this year because I don't see any flower buds. People bought the ones with flower buds. These are two and three eyes, so. Just letting you know. Yeah, looks good. Nice foliage, beautiful foliage. It's another peony there. This is Vivage there. Does this have any blossoms on it? Ah, that one has a blossom on it, I think, yeah. Vivage is gonna give a peony. I wouldn't care though, cause um, I don't like the foliage on the watch. I like the foliage on Sarah Bernhardt and Alex better, <laughs> cause they're bigger. Yeah. So I don't know why I think bigger is better. I just wanted to show you how's it going, and I had shown you these, and some of them had died. It was blueberries. Let me see. Looks like all I see are blackberries. Blackberries are native to us. They do fine. I don't see not one blueberry over here now. And I know they didn't all sell out because they're expensive. They had to throw them away. But if you want a good blackberry, this smells pretty. It's very ornamental. It's got lots of flowers on it. I'm told it doesn't taste that great, but it's ornamental. 
And um, I, I got one and put it in my garden. And I'm sure the, the bees will love it. They got tons of them over here. Let's see if they have some. Oh, here's a, a blueberry. Yeah, this is a blueberry. And it is got blueberries all over it. That's exciting. Okay. Let's see what kind it is. If you're in zone 10B, it got pollinated at Home Depot because when they brought them in, they didn't have any blueberries and they didn't have any flowers. The blackberries have already fruited there too. What do we got here? Peach sorbet. Okay, I have this in my yard and I thought this thing was gonna get like um, one foot tall. Looks like it's reaching its whole two foot here. Yeah. And I guarantee you, uh, Home Depot is not taking care of this plant. It's taking care of itself. That being said, all that gorgeousness and ornamentalness they were talking about, I don't see all that, but it's surviving. So I would say if you're around here, get a peach sorbet. I got these, I planted them one foot apart at home. I see now I could have planted them uh, two foot apart, but um, yeah, I could have definitely planted them two foot apart. I didn't need to plant them so close. Hmm. I might go home and, re and change them because I thought they were gonna get one foot tall. And I see this has a two foot spread. And for my hedge, I want, you know, I wanna maximize what I can do. This is a raspberry. These only fruit once a year. So I hope they come up with other short raspberries that fruit ever bearing. Cause for us small gardeners, small gardens, we want fruit all the time, like these blackberries are given. We want this all the time. Yeah. It's exciting to see the fruit on them. Let me see if they killed all the jelly bean. Are these all peach sorbets? What's this one right here? Is that peach sorbet? Oh, yeah. It's not jelly bean. This is berry bucks. I would just like to say to you, Berry Bucks is not doing well. I knew it wasn't, but we had rain. It just needs a lot of water. So it sent a, the whole plant died and it's got one little cane left, but the whole plant died. I, ha I have these planted in my yard. Mine are doing fine. I got mine through the mail, but the peach sorbet you can put this in a little bit bigger pot i would do that and you can keep that one now i'm noticing this one the one foot spacing is working for this one so this one must is shorter so what i got to do is figure out where i have peach sorbet and just move the peach sorbet maybe mine will be fine this year and i can move them next year i don't know what to do i keep moving them that's the only thing they got us berry bucks which is doing fine in my yard but i never saw the ones in here looking good they always looked horrible like this Oh, here's one. Berry Bucks is doing better. Berry Bucks is a shade blueberry. It has, this one is in the shade. And mine at my house are in the shade. So that's what it is. This one in the shade is now a foot tall. But the spacing I have on Berry Bucks is fine. So I don't need to move Berry Bucks. But, oh my goodness. This peach sorbet here is getting huge. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something because this right here, it just sent a, a um, one foot cane. So that is not going to work for, for what I'm trying to do. I'm going to have to move it. I thought this was a smaller plant. 
if I had it one and a half foot apart, I think that would work. And the berry bucks and the jelly beans, they'll be fine with the space that I have. I do know that I don't see any fruit yet on the berry bucks. It's just trying to stay alive. I think mine at home have fruit on them. But I like the growth. It, th this might make a better hedge. So if I get some more resources together, I'm going to try and find some nice, healthy um, berry bucks. Let me put this back on here. I just pulled it off, and um, I don't want to do that. Oh, Lord. Well, anyway, I'll do this off camera. God bless you.